Genetically engineered food doesn't have to pose a health risk, but they can. Therefore, a thorough risk assessment is very important. There are already gaps in risk assessment for all genetic engineering. These include, for example, the interaction of substances that enter the food chain together with the genetically engineered plants, such as residues of herbicides and insecticides that are produced in the plants. Due to these substances and their interactions, for example, the composition of the intestinal flora could be negatively altered. With new genetic engineering, cereals, vegetables and fruits are modified so that they show previously unknown properties. Therefore, each of these novel plants must be thoroughly analyzed for risks to humans and the environment. Furthermore, for example, different genetically engineered tomatoes with different characteristics could be sold in the future and mixed together, for example in a salad. It is therefore not enough to examine the risks of individual plants. Their interactions must also be taken into account.